Hey folks, how's it going? So what we're doing today is we're going to be talking about rank, dense rank, and then also partition by, which sort of adds a lot more meaning to it. These are called analytical functions. You can also call them window functions, but primarily it's a little more correct to call them analytical functions, and we might get into that later. But what it really does is it helps you to show data and format it and present it in such a way that if you didn't use the analytical functions, it would take you like all day to code something else to make this happen. So when you see how powerful these are, you're going to know why you need to know these for the job interview. And here's the thing. On a job interview that's heavily with SQL, they may ask you other questions, but the reality is the analytical functions, these are the things that they care about. So with that in mind, let me just show you this one table. It's just a simple employee table. We've got salary, department, hire date. There's maybe 30 or 40 records in it. And the reason why is <clears throat> this is usually the go-to set of data to show people where they'll quickly understand how this stuff works. So let me just select from this table. <clears throat> you can see there's nothing overwhelmingly interesting about it. <clears throat> it's just got an employee name. It's got their salary. It's got their department. And it's got their hire date. So what can we do with this? Well, let's show the rank function first. And this is going to be interesting. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to order by the salary descending. And the first, whoever's first, we're going to give them a 1. And whoever's second, we'll give them a 2. That kind of thing. But it's a little, it's not that simple. So what we do is we just add this to the select statement. And we're going to say rank. Rank over here is just what we're naming the field. But the rank function is right there. And then you use the word over, and then you have this big chunk right here that can, is going to actually get bigger later. And we tell it to order by the salary descending. Okay, good enough. So we do that, and if you notice, something interesting happens. There's a three-way tie for first place. So three people came in first, they all get a one. You know, it doesn't pick one, two, and three, just they all get a one because they all ranked first. But the fourth record, Ronnie Ralston in management, he makes less. So does he come in second place? Well, he's really the fourth record. So he comes in fourth. So see, what rank does is it skips over two and three. If there's a three-way tie, it skips over two and three. Same thing with there's two people tied for fifth place. So then after that, it jumps to seventh. There's two of those, and then it jumps to nine. That's how rank works. Now, whoever you're doing this query for, <clears throat> excuse me, they may not want that. They may not want you to skip over numbers. Why? It just, it just matters what they want. It's not like one is better than the other or one is more correct. It just depends what you're doing and what your goals are. So here's what you could do. Here we're going to show, again, rank. We just did this. But now we're going to show dense rank. And as you could probably uh, gather from this, dense rank, the only difference is it doesn't have holes. So what we have is this. Whereas rank goes 1, 1, 1, and then skips to 4, the dense rank goes 1, 1, 1, 2. And it's that simple. So the further down we go, you know, the numbers start getting, you know, a little further apart because a lot of people here have the same, same. So, again, rank has holes. Dense rank does not. So if you're building a boat, use the one without holes. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. So anyway, that's the difference between those. But... What we really want to do is make this data a little more meaningful. So, you know, the minute you hand this into somebody, by the way, they'll love it if you do this both ways, because you can tell somebody straight up what the difference is between these, between rank and dense rank, and say, which do you prefer? They'll have no idea. They'll be like, let me think about it or let me get back to you. This is when you're on the job. And the thing is, they'll never get back to you. So if you want to be really slick, do it both ways. Impress the heck out of them. Maybe they'll want to keep it that way all the time. But just, just know how to do both and use both. It's really simple. But now here's the reality check. The minute they look at this, you know what's going to happen already. They're going to say, oh, you know, um, this is really great, but I need to do this by department. Well, how would you do that? Now, here's the thing. You could just take, if there's seven different departments, for example, you could just give them seven different readouts where at the end you say, you know, where department equals software development and then where department equals management. 
But that's horrible. That would be like so much work. This is like sewing a quilt together. Ugh. There's a simple way to do that, and it's by using this amazing thing called partition by. And the reason I said that these are really analytical functions, they don't really become window functions until you use partition by. I know some people are going to argue with me on that, but it's really the truth. So we're going to take a look at that in a few seconds. Okay, so in this next example, uh, we're showing rank with partition by, and we're going to partition by the department. That means it's really like sort of think about grouping it by the departments. Okay, uh, but it's a little more than that. I have this line written two times. Notice there's no comma because I'm not going to really execute them both. We already know what this does. But I just want you to see the difference. I have this tabbed over because what you do is instead of just saying over and then order by salary descending rank, here what you do is you add partition by department. But it has to come before the order by. So within this over chunk or this over statement or clause, whoops, I hate when I do that. Um, within, within this, ah, please stop doing that. I have to get my fingers checked. Okay. Within this little section right here, there's the partition by, there's order by. So, you know, it's really that simple. So I'm going to get rid of this. And don't forget what happened over here. It's ranking everything. And by the way, we're just looking at, uh, for this over here, we're looking at rank and dense rank for this next part. We're just going to look at rank. So actually let's look at this one. For rank, it ranked everything the way that rank works, you know, with holes. But it just it just took it just took it by the dollar amount. You know, the, the departments are all over the place. It's like the Wild West. But here, notice how nice and neat and organized and clean this is. You're going to love this. Okay, so what we have, notice the finance numbers are all here. You know, and it ranks them. This one, you know, they all go down. So it actually goes one, two, three, four. But now when we get to HR, look, it starts the numbers over again. One, two, three, four. Same query. We didn't have to take a whole bunch of um, different little queries and kind of glue them together with, you know, like some kind of weird union statement and like an extra, you know, order by field. We didn't have to do any of that. All we did is this one line. And we added this one thing. And it's, it's like magic. Do you know how much work it would be to show how to do this just by using normal SQL code without using rank? I have a video, and it goes over this and a couple of other things. It's almost an hour long. That's how long it takes, you know, and I'm pausing it a lot when I'm writing all the code out. I mean, it's just, it's, it's elaborate. And so this is why when you go on a job interview for SQL, if you don't know this, and if you don't know this, and it's the first thing they're going to ask you, you're done. They'll still give you the interview, but they'll be like, well, you'll hear back from us. No, you won't. No, you won't. Not a chance. Okay. Now, last but not least, we have rank, and then I'm going to show dense rank. Now, can we do these together with partition by? Well, let's take a look. Because remember, it's still partitioning it by the department. You know, if we did something weird like partition by, and then we did higher date over here, you're going to have very strange, strange looking, it just, it wouldn't be meaningful. But anyway, so here again, we have finance. And the only difference is, uh, well, here, it's the same thing with rank and dense rank, because there's no duplicates. Let, let's find one that has some duplicates in it. Uh, would have been good to have this prepared. Okay, going to have to look down below. Oh, okay, here's a good one. Click, 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 click. Okay, so for marketing, here it goes 113 and it skips, and here it goes 112. And then it just carries everything else out normally. And then when you get to QA, ugh, QA, ugh, ugh. Sorry, I just, I'm having convulsions just thinking of QA. Ugh, I'm going to have to see a doctor. Um, okay, so starts over. Sales. Oh, that gives me almost as much stomach pain. Yeah, I tried that. Failed. <laughs> but anyway, so you get the whole thing. Partition by makes this new partition every time. And so just, just for the sake of the jargon, or the sake of the nomenclature, think of this chunk as a window. And think of this chunk as a window. Think of this as a window. Not this as a window. This is a window. 
because the, in this field, this is what we're partitioning by. So that's why, so when we say analytical queries or window queries, it's not really a window query unless you use partition by. And again, some people may give me an argument about that. No, the whole thing's a window without it, but that doesn't really mean it. That's not helpful. That's not useful. So if you want to be slick, just say analytical functions, you know. But it's a good thing to get into an argument about in the cafeteria when you're trying to impress the new person. Okay, so anyhow, there's that. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, you know, there will be more coming up. Now, friends, if you like this video, please consider uh, liking it. Or if you enjoyed it, if you thought it was beneficial, if you thought I was even remotely funny. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you know, please consider liking. And we come out with about five videos a week. So, you know, you might even want to subscribe, but I'll leave that up to you. No pressure. Subscribe now. Here's how. Okay. Thank you for your time. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.